Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's April 2021 and using laser guided bombs has recently changed slightly in the Harrier, so let's cover it from scratch. Rearm menu, we can carry laser guided bombs on pylons 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, so 1 and 7. We can have a GBU-12 500 laser guided bomb on pylons 2 and 6. We can have a GBU-12 or a GBU-16 1000 pound bomb or two GBU-12s or three GBU-12s. Pylons three and five, a single 12, a single 16, or double 12. So let's just take a super simple two times symmetric GBU-12s. We can drop these on a third party buddy laser or we can designate with our own designating laser. And to do that, we're going to have a lightning teapot on station 4B. Note that this aircraft does have the GBU-54 laser guided INS bombs, but they work differently and they're covered in a separate video. Request rearming. In terms of controls, there's very little to know. To release the bomb, bomb pickle, transfer the target information to the nav system, we've got waypoint increment, that'll be a push and hold of one second or more. To slew the T-pod, which we're gonna be doing at some point, TDC forward, down, left and right. To designate a target, TDC down, or it may designate automatically, depending on your action, no action setting in the main menu, special options. Also for T-pod control and or clearing targets, nose wall steer. Sensor select switch down twice, so a double press, will activate and set soy as our T-pod. And finally, sensor select switch aft once we'll activate the LST for changing the laser code. In the air now the first thing I want to do is to change the PRF laser codes on our bombs and on our designating laser which is on our T-pod so we can do that. We're going to press sensor select switch aft to bring up the LST. From there we want a box code. If it's not boxed then make sure you press that and box it. The current code of 1688 is there. We need to type in a new code that we want to change it to. 1588 is a valid code that I'm aware of, so we're going to use that. Enter. We've now changed our designated laser and the codes on our bombs. Next, let's go and set up our bombs. So, left screen, we're going to go to stores. Uh, we're going to make sure we're on air to ground, make sure our master arm is on. Select GBU 12. Set up our usual bombing stuff. Our mode is going to be auto. Our fuse, in this case, is going to be tail and instant and you can mess around with the bombing quantifiers if you want but we're just going to leave it to one simple bomb drop next let's find our target what we know is there's a target somewhere on that runway out of interest we've got a waypoint here but that's going to play no real part in today so let's get our teapot up we're going to double press sensor select switch down that's brought us into our teapot and made teapot soy and put us into teapot hotas mode so we can use the teapot now we'll slew the teapot onto the target. There are several different ways you can do that, but this is not a T-Pod tutorial. Please go and watch our T-Pod tutorial if you need to know how to work that. I'm just gonna find the target. There's the little guy there. I'm gonna aim at the base of him. I think I'll probably be near enough to take him out. I'm near area track. I could, use, I could use a point track or a moving target track, but I'm just gonna use an area track. Now that is a target created. We can see that we have the target diamond there in the middle of the teapod pointing octagon and our target is 7.5 miles away in the old version of the harrier that was all you need you could just go and drop a bomb in the new version of the harrier you need a little more for the auto bombing system to work we need to feed the target data through to the eshd nav system so let's get that done left screen main menu eshd we are going to press and hold waypoint increment for more than one second. So press and release. What well, that's done in the background has moved the target information to the ESHD system. If that's worked, we can now select target zero. In fact, it's defaulted to it. But let's just prove that it is there. We've got waypoint one, waypoint two, and we've now got target zero. Before we pressed waypoint increment, that would not have been there. Now with target zero as active, we can press designate. Now the navigation system understands that it needs to give us symbology for our auto bombing. And all of a sudden, our auto bombing symbology has appeared. Quickly go through it. Target diamond, teapot octagon, azimuth steering line, 
all we've got to do is fly forwards and keep our velocity vector, which is this guy here, as close to the azimuth steering line as possible. In terms of our attitude, we can fly straight and level, or a slight climb, or a slight dive. They'll all work, but generally stay level. In terms of altitude, I'm super low here because I want everything to be close together this tutorial. But in reality, you can drop these bombs from up high, so 15, 20, maybe 25,000 feet to avoid ground threats. This shows how far the target is away from us in Nautical Mars, and this is the counter to which point the bomb will be dropped at current parameters. One more thing before we go, and that's to set up the laser. So, let's arm the laser. Let's choose the type of laser we're going to use. I don't want training. I could use designated laser, which I will use, or a designator and a marker, or a marker, or eyes, but obviously I want the designating laser in this case. And that's it. We're all good to go. We are going to unpause, add some power. At about 15 seconds from drop, I'm going to fire the laser by clicking on fire here. It is possible that you can fire the laser after the bomb has dropped and it will still work, but just to keep things simple, I personally suggest dropping it just before, about 15 seconds before. Then at about 7 seconds, with this guy showing here, we'll push and hold pickle. So that's... Fire the laser. Get back on the azimuth steering line. Push and hold, bomb pickle. The bomb will drop when the timing cue drops down from the top of the ASL onto the velocity vector. Bombs drop. Now it's important that whatever we do after the bomb has dropped, until the bomb has hit, that we don't block the laser. Remember, it's coming out of the front of the T-Pod there. So don't, you know, do a sudden rollover and pull away. We've got to fly now so that the T-Pod can illuminate the target all the time. For me, in this case, that means I'm going to slow down. I'm going to make a slight turn to the right or left. Not a harsh turn, just a slight turn. Looks like she's guiding. And that's going to be a hit. Boom. And that's our target spawned with a bomb on a PRF of 1588, designated from our teapot. That's all I've got to show at the moment. I hope that was useful and see you later.